And we welcome you from the DeWitt Motor Speedway for the running of the Iowa Corn 400. Let's get in here to your drivers to watch for. First driver to watch for is Brad Keselowski, who starts on the pole today. Brad Keselowski is having a really fast car in qualifying and a really fast car in practice. Actually, was fastest in all of the practices and the qualifying um, session we had earlier today. Can he get it done today? Another guy who looks strong today is Alex Bowman in the number 48 car. He um, got loose in qualifying, but was second in all the practices, except for the first one where he was fourth. Alex Bowman has a fast car today. He is the one to look out for in the day's race. Guys, let's do this. Drivers, start your engines. And the engines have been fired. And let's get into your race analysis. There was a 90% chance of rain here today. And as well, uh, well, this race is going to be 10 laps, 300 virtual miles. Brad Kozlowski is on the pole. Let's go to your green flag here. And your green flag is out from the DeWitt Motor Speedway. Oh, there's raining. It's raining. The track is wet. Oh, everyone involved. Kozlowski, Truex. A big pile up here. Kevin Harvick involved. Ryan Blaney involved. Alex Bowman. William Byron. Wow. And there's the cars there. They're going to go down pit road now. And let's take a replay. Uh, let's take a look at the replay there. What happened? Here it is. Kozlowski. He just gets going there. He gets a push. Gets in that turn. Hits that apron. When it starts raining. And wow. We got a bunch of cars big junkyard and uh we're gonna take a break here once we come back we'll have some rain to get late coverage of the iowa corn 300 here live as a big one has happened in turn one well we're back here at the dewitt motor speedway under red flag conditions and absolutely a downpour here at the dewitt motor speedway kyle larson is your current leader right now they got told to get out of their cars, and we don't know if we're going to even get this race um, resumed again tonight. Uh, with this old racing surface last time, this track has been repaid, 1999. Um, that start-finish line is red because the only track is a diabetic, so um, that's why the start-finish line is, in fact, red here. With the very, this very old surface, it's going to take a little while to get the track dry here, a few hours. And they're saying, and they don't want this race to get resumed here um, really late tonight. It's the current time right now, it's about 9, nine o'clock, so um, three hours, that's 11. Now there's a curfew of 10.30. The races have to be started by at least 10:30 they can they can start at 10:30 approximately and um you know uh it takes about 2 hours to do this track that's going to leave us um within an 11 o'clock um, start um it's still raining here we'll come back with an update and yeah, we're back here with an update um well i just got to warn my headset that um, since they'll not reach the curfew hour, um, uh, getting this race started at least 10.30 tonight, track drying will be done around 11.30, they say, and so this race will be ran tomorrow afternoon here. It's going to be a day race, and it's dead of an eye race, so, um, we're going in this video, and, well, we'll have a separate one up for tomorrow's race. Thank you guys for watching the one lap of racing we got in today. Um, tomorrow's race will restart at lap number five. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for the running of this race. Well, let's try this again. It's day two. Welcome back to the Iowa Corn 300. We got two laps completed last night after rain hit. Brad Kozlowski hit the wall. Here's your cars out of this race. Kevin Harvick, Ryan Blaney. Um... Jimmy Johnson, Mark Trucks Jr., William Byron, and more. So let's get this race back in the way. The engines have been fired already. Three flags in the air racing again here today. Kyle Larson with the early. Oh, Kyle Busch turns Kyle Larson. 
A four-car pileup in the back collects Kyle Larson, Chase Elliott, Eric Jones. Let's take a look at a replay of that incident. Well, here's a replay right now. Here we go. Oh, Kyle Busch. Looks like he just got loose. He collected um, everyone else there. Just got loose, it looks like. Right now, they're ready to go back and ring flag. Three cars. Tyler Reddick, Dylan Walker, Eric Jones, your top three. Here we come, back to the green flag, and green flag, back in the air, it's on. Tyler had a great start there, as well as Dylan Walker. Here we come to the white flag this time by. White flag in the air for Tyler Reddick in the Iowa Corn 300, trying to get it done. Matt the Benedetto passes Dylan Walker, and Tyler Reddick picks the corn. Tyler Reddick wins at the wit. Wow, Tyler Reddick gets a ton. He burns down the house tonight. Well, next race, we'll head to Atlanta Motor Speedway for the running of the full Devonner Equip Trip 250. We'll see you guys there. Tyler Reddick, the big winner today. Matthew Benedetto keeps his point lead here now um, as he'll try to, to win the Season 1 championship now here for the NASCAR's Casey Cup Series. See you guys next race. And the uh, full Devon Equip Trip 250. See you guys there at Atlanta. You can tell me the deck is stacked. You can whisper behind my back. You can show me how the odds are up. Against me all day long But I've been through the fire And come out alive And there's no more fear in my eyes But now I'm rising And you can't bring me down You can't stop me now